Uh, good morning from Two Happy Children Farm. I'm sitting uh, next to the edge of my field and uh, we had about four inches of rain over the last 36 hours and the downpours have just stopped and we're uh, just getting steady rain right now. One of the tells I think on a no-till field is how does it handle um, these large rain events and I think it's really important um, especially around here uh, like a lot of places in America our farm has been uh, cash rented for the last three decades and um, that really kind of indicates that a lot of it's just been uh, mined this, mining the soil and not replacing exactly what you're taking out and sometimes not even putting out anything but nitrogen so when I'm trying to build up my soil I have to make sure it stays in place for one thing and then also build up the fertility levels. Um, so on a day like this, if I was completely tilled, um, my soil would be running just like everyone else's. And any of that plant nutrition I've been putting out for the last three years uh, would be subject to moving as well. So I think it's doing a pretty respectable job today of holding that soil in place. Um, I do see some pockets of water you can see uh, kind of my wheel tracks. Uh, I'm on 40 foot spacing when I go through with the sprayer or the fertilizer spreader. Um, but I'm also encouraged that that rain isn't holding there too much, which I think I means I'm getting some good soil tilt and the water's filtering into the soil. Um, this is my waterway. Uh, I'm draining a 120 acre field through here um, so I think a lot of this water is from the north fields north of me it's not mine um, you can see it moving so to get this thing filled up it means we've had a pretty substantial rain now I'm going to look at uh, where the water is coming from This is the field to the north of me, and uh, it's just letting it loose, especially here on the edge. Um, you can just see that water running like a son of a bitch. And the well, funny thing is, down here, um, everyone's addicted to field cultivating, and I know that you like to incorporate your fertilizer because you don't want to lose it to volatilization. So um, this field has been tilled four times now. Just last week, they applied the, their nitrogen. Um, so it's really loose and ready to plant, and now we get this big rain. And I would say that's fine, but it seems like it happens every year. Um, so I would count on this field running short of nitrogen just like it always does. Um, this is the rest of my field. So you can see where the wheel tracks were. I, I came through with my burn down last week. This end of the field is not the best drain, so this is where I do get puddling. But if you look down the rows, um, after that much rain, it looks pretty good. So we're going to take a few days to dry out, but I think one of the things that you look at in your soil is how does it perform with uh, large rain amounts. And I think my water infiltration has improved over the last three years, just by the way that there's not as much standing in the field, and uh, I'm not getting runoff like, like the other guys. So thanks for watching.